All right, hey guys, welcome in. We are doing a Campbell Soup Can, a little Andy Warhol tribute artist, famous artist piece today we are going to do. I'm excited for this one. I haven't done an Andy Warhol project really except for my pop art, which... Andy Warhol is famous for pop art, which was popular art. It was done during the 50s and 60s when things were uh, advertising and colors were really, really big and getting people's attention with those bold colors. So that's what we're going to try to do on this one. I'm going to start it out probably about the size of our hand uh, right in the middle. We are going to do a cylinder shape. So I'm going to start really big up and top with a curvy line. That kind of goes almost like a big smile. And then one line going down to this side and then another one on the other side. I'm starting kind of lightly. I haven't done a cylinder in quite a while. I try to match that curve on the top, on the bottom. That's what makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then also match that curve that goes down with a curve that goes up. And that'll make it look realistic as an actual can that you can grab. Is that a little bit darker now? Okay, that looks pretty nice. You can see as towards the bottom and the tops, I kind of went out a little bit on each side as it met up with the cap and the uh, bottom part, the lids, they kind of have a little bit of a curve to it. Uh, speaking of a curve, I'm gonna put a curvy line on the bottom over here, and then a curvy line on the top. And then one more, almost in the middle, except it doesn't quite go all the way. It goes in the middle, but then it has a circle in the middle. We'll talk about what I'm gonna do. It's kind of a little secret surprise that I'm gonna do in the middle of that. Put a circle in the middle. Ooh, that's a pretty good circle. And that is our basic design on here. Before we get too far ahead, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. You just click the button and bell. Now let's get started. Really the most challenging part of the soup can. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a guide. So even though I did these pretty light, I'm gonna do even really more light, a line that kinda goes in the middle of this one. And then, uh, then about one down here also. Cause the lettering that goes on these Campbell soup cans uh, has a little bit of a curve to it. So it says tomato soup down here. So that's what I'm gonna write, but I'm gonna try to keep it on this curve. So let's go through that real quick. And now it gets a little bit more tricky cause I'm gonna do cursive. Um, if you just wanna write it normal, you can write it normal. Cursive is just as I always describe it as normal writing with a little bit fancy ends on each of the letters. So I'm gonna go Campbell's. But again, I'm trying to stay on that line, make it a little bit nicer and make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'll go through that quick. Okay, cool. That looks really good. Couple more details that I'm gonna add. I'm gonna do like a little, another almost like a football shape in the middle on here, just around, and then I'll add some little highlights over here to make it look more like a can lid on the top. And now it's Sharpie time, so I'm gonna take my marker and outline this one Sharpie. Let's go through that real quick. Okay, nice, that looks really, really good. I'm gonna add one more little, actually two more little details. I'm gonna add a little curve onto my letter to make it look a little bit more authentic. And then one little skinny line down here just to make that look a little bit more authentic. And that looks awesome, but now we are not done. Now it's like our coloring sheet, where especially with the Campbell Soup cans came in all sorts of different colors and bright colors. Um, you could use highlighters, any sort of markers or crayons, colored pencils that you want. Um, so I'm gonna take this, turn it into something hopefully a little bit better. So just like, all right, bam, look at that. Really cool, of course, in the middle, I had a little customize with Andy Warhol, a little portrait. Paying tribute to him, famous artist for this week. So hopefully you guys had some fun. I know I did. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Class. We'll talk to you guys later.